Hello students, uh, I'm JVN Nehal Mittal and your topic for today is management's prerogative during the pendency of proceedings. So uh, we will understand in this topic what are the management's prerogative when there is uh, any pendency in the proceedings. So uh, so section 33 uh, deals with the, this topic and the relationship of an employer and the employees is inherently unequal and the industrial disputes act, act 1947 was enacting keeping this kind of aspect in mind so the act is a comprehensive legislation which uh, seeks to protect the workmen who are usually in disadvantageous situations from unjust and illegal actions of the employer so while the provisions of the act are clear a study of some of the provisions of the act and the case law around them throws a light on how the management has traditionally reacted in conflict in conflict in conflict uh, situation and that is where any conciliation proceedings or any other proceedings before an arbitrator label court or tribunal in respect of an industrial dispute is pending adjudication so now let us understand what is section 33 of the act section 33 Section 33 of the Industrial Dispute Act 1947 imposes a prohibition on the employer for altering the terms of uh, service of its workmen to their prejudice or to terminate their services during the pendency of any proceedings. That includes the conciliation proceedings in respect of the industrial dispute. So the rational uh, behind this section 33 is very simple no employer takes kindly to a workman questioning an action and taken against him by the management particularly by raising an industrial dispute so if a workman has challenged a disciplinary action taken against him without regard to the merits it is usual for the employer to consider such a workman as a troublemaker who the employer should rid itself from thus section 33 seeks to protect a workman from victimization by the employer on account of him having raised an industrial dispute now uh, notwithstanding the clear provision for section 33 it has been taken a long time to settle the position of law on the same so subsection 1 of section 33 provides that without the prior approval of the authority before whom the proceedings are pending no adverse action including dismissal or discharge from service can be taken by the employer against the workmen concerned in regard to matter connected with the dispute. However, subsection 2 of section 33 provides that during the pendency of any such proceeding in respect of an industrial dispute, the employer may in accordance with the standing orders applicable to the workmen concerned in such dispute, uh, it can uh, a alter in regard to any matter not connected with the dispute the conditions or service applicable to that workman immediately before commencement of such proceeding or b or for any misconduct not connected with the dispute discharge or punish whether by dismissal or otherwise that workman provided that no such workman shall be discharged or dismissed unless he has been paid wages for one month and an application has been made by the employer to the authority before which the proceeding is pending for approval of the action taken by the employer so therefore from the language employed in section 33 it is obvious that before an employer can discharge or dismiss workmen concerned in the pending dispute for any misconduct before which the proceeding is pending so in other words unless the employer has obtained the express permission in writing of the authority there can be no discharge or dismissal of the workmen on the other hand in cases falling under section 32 33 2 the employer is required to first dismiss the workmen and then seek the approval of the action already taken so uh, that's all for today thank you so much